Okay guys, and welcome back to another episode on Wilmer's channel, and in today's episode, we are back at the nether hub. Or, it's actually starting to look like a nether hub, isn't it now, guys? So basically, last episode, all we did was set up this portal in the middle, and since then, I've raised up the ground, and I put down our little floor around this place, and we're going to start work on this in a later episode. There's going to be a floor there, obviously. But in today's episode, we're going to get the tunnels to uh, people's bases that are going to lead to their bases that people are going to make. And I guess we'll get started on that right now. I actually already recorded this once, and it decided to laugh at my face and tell me that it didn't work, so that was nice of it. So basically what this is going to be is each person is going to have their own little tunnel and it's going to lead to their own little base, and it's all going to be fine and dandy. Isn't that right, guys? Ah, uh, anyway, so... I don't think I quite explained what the purpose of a nether hub is, so... And I think I'll touch on that this episode. Uh, ooh, parkour, parkour, parkour. And you right there. So basically, the overworld is actually eight times bigger than the nether. And the way that they do that is that each block you travel in the nether, so I go from here over to this, like say, I don't know if you guys can, say I go from this block right here to this block. That's equivalent to moving eight blocks in the overworld which makes it, it's basically like, yeah, it's, it's smaller. So it's basic, what that basically means is that it is a great place to travel long distances. And so what we've done is we're going to set up a central point that everybody's going to have their own tunnel to their base. So what that's going to mean, what that means is if we travel 100 blocks in the nether, that means you're traveling eight, 800 blocks in the overworld. So I only have to go 800 blocks in the nether to, to get to my base that's, a, that's 800 blocks from spawn, if that makes sense. I already recorded this once, but yeah, I told you guys that, didn't I? Yeah. Ah, <sighs> gotta love recording stuff. Hmm. So basically, I want these tunnels to be customizable. So what it's going to be is these tunnels where you see this nether rack right here, like this nether rack and this nether rack. Please don't make me hit you. And that's going to be replaced with whoever's base it is. So, or not whoever's base it is. Whoever's base it is, they're going to replace it with a block of their choosing that sort of describes where the destination is, I guess. So say you have a rainbow base or something, a base where you use rainbows. What you would do is simply change these out and then just put rainbow wool in there. And that kind of like shows people, hey, this is so-and-so's rainbow base, you know? It's that sort of thing. Or if you have like a favorite block in the game that everybody knows about, you know, that sort of thing, then you put that in there too. So that's basically the idea behind it. And... Okay, so I'm going to kind of touch on why I have cobble on the outside, and the reason for that is that cobble does not explode when a gas hits it. Clay and uh, redstone lamps, that's what they're called, and things like wood, stuff like that, they will explode if a gas hits. How did I accomplish that? So the reason behind that is we have this case around it that sort of is like the force field. It protects all the the uh, blocks that could be broken inside by ghasts. So basically a protection barrier thing. And the reason I have netherrack down here is because it's solid floor. There's no gas underneath there. That's actually somebody's tunnel. That's why it's hollow. But in here, see, that's all solid. So there's no gas that are going to be bothering, up, bothering us from this direction. There's going to be 16 spaces in this nether hub. And... What that's going to mean is that there's going to be room for 16 members. But you may be saying, hey, that's not a lot, and you're right. And that's why I have 
these areas right here in each of the corners like that one over there those are all going to be places where you can go down or go up into and there's going to be even more spaces so there's room for expansion in all of these things so it's good to keep that in mind and we're going to have this nether hub for hopefully a long time because I put a I put a fair amount of effort into this and I guess that pretty much covers it and I'm gonna put in the rest of these bad boys and I'll meet you guys in just a second hello everybody and today I'm on the scrub hub again with my favorite person Wilmer you know it oh, oh yeah, yeah. Ow. <laughs> but anyway so I've been thinking and I'm, I think, I think I'm, I'm gonna, gonna start a clay shop because no one no one else has one of those currently and uh, I, guess I guess we'll see how it goes, but I was hoping that my buddy Wilmer would build it for me. So, you know, we get out some work. Yeah, but unfortunately, today we're not meeting as friends. We're meeting as business partners now, aren't we, Snoops? Oh, yeah. Super serious business right here. Super serious. You know us. We're really down to business kind of guys, right, guys? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm so, what, what were you kind of thinking for this design? What kind of a style were you going for? Well, I was uh, thinking about uh, maybe, maybe like a Pueblo or something, but uh, like yeah, something like that, not, you know? Yeah, not, not too big, big but like just how, how big, like dimensions-wise, were you were you thinking? Pro probably like around about, like about the size of this die shop, or like bigger than yeah, that? pretty much pretty, pretty much the size, size of the die shop. shop. Uh, maybe like maybe, maybe a little, little bit smaller. Because you don't gonna... really need the villager, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But, but, uh, yeah, yep, probably, probably around 13, 13 by 13, 13 or so, I'd, I'd say. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Come work with that. Um, we, I was thinking, like, for that sort of a design, maybe we could use the, uh, just the plain stained clay. Well, I guess it's just hardened clay. It's not stained clay, but just regular old clay and the yeah. jungle wood it goes really well with it. So we. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, I'll probably do something like that. So now, with all good greetings aside, let's get down to business. What were you thinking price-wise? Um, maybe, maybe about maybe like, like you know, know couple diamonds. diamonds. Couple diamonds. Yeah. yeah. Like one. D yeah, yeah that sounds, sounds about right. right. <laughs> uh, well, I'm just, I'll just, you know, take your horse and be on my way. In that case, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was thinking for something about that side, I'd size i'd probably say around 20 diamonds but like how many diamonds do you actually have how many diamonds do you have right now um i don't not, not that, that many actually just uh what's, what's three times nine, nine like 20 something 27. oh yeah, yeah. Plus, plus four that's, that's about half a stack, stack. so okay. um well since you're a friend and since you know you've got a special place in my heart so i'm gonna bring the price down to around I'd say around 18. Thanks, Thanks buddy. buddy. Is that good with you, or would you like to barter a little bit? Um, would, would you, do, do, would you, you want, want any other resources? resources? Like, like, maybe you could give me a discount at the clay shop. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, every, every time, time you come, come, you can get, get some, some kind of discount. discount. Give, you some, give you some, some coupons. coupons. Give me some coupons? Yeah. yeah. Like, how much were you going to charge for your clay? Do you want to... Um, I haven't really thought, thought that out yet. yet. Maybe, Maybe like, mm, probably like, like two gold, gold blocks for a stack or half a stack or something. Uh, probably, I'd say probably about, because people are going to buy it in bulk. Maybe about, probably like one gold block per stack or one bulk, gold block for a stack and a half or something like that. Yeah, and, and I could probably like, like give, give some deals if they buy multiple stacks. Like, like if, if you buy, yeah, yeah. buy two, buy two one. Free. Buy two, get one free, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. But yeah, maybe give me like a fifty percent off at the clay shop. Definitely. Yeah. And by the way, I'll be providing all the materials for said project, so you don't have to worry about that. Sweet. That sounds, sounds like, like a, a great, great deal. deal. So maybe since since you're poor and all, I could maybe bring it down to sixteen diamonds, and then just a fifty percent off at the shop. I think, I think that'll, that'll work. work. You want to shake on it? 
Yeah. Wait. Get an open slot in your inventory. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh. Open slot. Uh, there you go. There you go. One, okay. two, three. Okay, we shook on it. Yep, it's, it's a done, done deal. deal. It's a done deal. Wait, wait about, about that price? price? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 okay, guys. So, I guess I'll meet you guys back over in the Nether Hub, and you guys can check out Snoops as well. So we're going to be business partners temporarily. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I'll see you guys in just a second. Alrighty guys, and after that little clip, we're back here, and I finished every single tunnel. It's actually, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's actually been a couple days since I've recorded. Um, <laughs> so I figured I better get on that for you guys. So, basically, as I said last time, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take all this. Say I wanted to make my tunnel out of redstone blocks. It's just a quick tutorial. I'd remove that. Make it into redstone blocks. Remove that. Make it into redstone blocks. Remove that. Make it into a redstone block. And... I thought this was going to be a fast thing. Okay. Three, four, five. And that is what your tunnel would look like if you want if you were like maybe if you were a big redstoner or something that would be your tunnel look something like that so that's basically the idea behind that i'm too lazy to remove those right now so i'm just gonna leave them i actually went through quite a bit of trouble to get this stuff done because i had to move the entire structure out one block that was in every single direction too one block that way one block that way one block that way and one block that way and that was not fun in case you're wondering that was not fun at all so basically I think what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna probably I thought about getting the walls in between these set up but I think I'll do that in just maybe in this episode maybe not I just I told you guys already that the main point in this episode is to get everything up and running for everybody else on the server. Okay, 16 buttons. Right there. Oh, that's not where you go. Shoot, I'm bad at this. I've played this game before, I promise. Um, okay, so we need 16 times 2 is 32, so we need that's 28 and that's that should be plenty some of our hard-earned gold that we're gonna have to spend on this and what else do we need we need a lot of iron that's what we need oh me too. ah this little setup has served us well so far guys it'll be a kind of rough to see it go uh oh Girthy, by the way, is Ben's alternate account. He changed the name on it from Ghetto Booty Baby. Thing. I don't know if I showed that on camera, but that was pretty funny. You're not a crafting table. You are, in fact, a crafting table. Um, let's just see if I can get this right first. First try. Oh, of course not. Oh, ho! There it is. Okay, so what we need to do is make some more sticks. And... That should be plenty. Okay. So what we do is we go like that, go like that, go like that. There we go. That was easy. Oh, even number two. Oh, we still need to make a... What are they called? Regular rails. Like so. Like that. And like that. Whoops, that was not what I meant to put in there. And I think that should serve us well. Did that come out to exactly a stack? If so, we're doing really good today. Lucky day, guys. Lucky day. Okay, so each one of these is going to have two rails. And a button. To which... These rails will then lead to 
base, and this guy is not going to get out of there, so we're just going to come back later when he is. So basically, oh, I know what I need. Thanks for reminding me, guys. Gosh, you got to get it on top of that stuff. Okay, we need to take this. Turn it into that. Bada bing. And... I think that's it. Yep. Now we can... Yeah, we'll put that right there. Okay, that, that should be all we need. So in each one of these, I'm going to have to put down that right there. Hey. Oh, that was trippy. These two. And then a button. And you'll just put your Minecraft, blah, 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 minecart in there, and you'll be on your way. Now, if it's your tunnel, you can probably add some sort of dispenser setup. You know, that's your choice, whatever. For all those of you that are watching that happen to be on the server as well. So, yeah, I gotta do a bunch of these. While I was doing this, I was gonna talk to you guys about maybe doing another series. Oh, I just realized that this is gonna be a bad thing. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. This is gonna work out perfectly. Oh no, you're going to be in there too, aren't you? I went about that the wrong way. I was going to talk to you guys about starting a new series, and that series would be a how to build series, as in I would teach you techniques that I use to make builds more interesting and better to look at, that sort of thing. So yeah, I'd like you guys to let me know how you feel about that down in the comments, but you know, I only get about 6 views on each episode. So if you're watching, it's up to you to determine what content you get. So, much obliged if you would be so kind as to do that. Re also really excited about the build I'm doing for Snoops. That should be a lot of fun, I think, anyway. I've got it sort of planned out and creative, sort of not. You know, I'm gonna... I think I might do a little little bit of tiny bit of building with him on the server like on camera obviously just to see what he thinks about it and what he would like to be changed because he's a decent builder too I don't know if you guys know about him but you guys should really check him out he's a really cool guy one of the funniest people I know I've probably said that quite a bit of times about him and you're gonna be in the way too aren't you oh I just I tried to juke him out but that didn't work this isn't actually that bad. Just go over and over and over. But yeah, it'd probably be like a... Not a very long series. Probably about, I'd say, like 10 part maybe. Um, that's just an estimate. It's probably not going to be that. Maybe more or less. But it'd probably be somewhere around that many parts to it. And it'd be... Each part would be discussing a different area of the building. Ooh, scary sound, scary sound. I always feel like I'm doing... Oh, I missed a button. Which button did I miss? I made exactly 16 buttons. You're good, you're good. Aha! So you get in your minecart, press the button, and on your way. So I guess this will mark the opening of the nether... Wait, oh yeah, of course I had two extras. Remember that now. There you go, and there you go. Still been ho hovering around 29 levels. I also have plans to start on her, our base, that way we can kind of flip back and forth between projects, you know, that way you guys don't get too bored. Uh oh, phone going off in the background, I hope you guys don't mind that, sorry about that. I don't know if you can hear that, how sensitive my mic is. Uh, what am I looking for guys, what am I looking for? Right here, right here, right here. You're not in there. Oh dear. People yelling in the background. I'm sorry about that, guys. Nothing ever goes to plan. If you guys saw my mini games episode, everything in the background was screwing up at one part in the video. Like, it's just like, oh, why don't I just go outside and mow the lawn? You know, great job. And toilets flushing and all sorts of terrible, terrible chaos going on. See if I can remember this. I'll be impressed if I can. If 
only I could remember math this well. Alright guys. Uh, where are you? Oh, you're right here. Silly me. And you are a... You are a thing. You are a thing right there. And you go right there. Beautiful. And I'm just doing this so you guys can sort of see what to expect with these parts. Uh, we'll take a step back and look see at that and that's pretty good I'd say and also gonna lay this out a little bit for you guys so this is just gonna be the very like it's not gonna actually lead down here I'm just putting this border around here for texture there's gonna be blocks lined up right here like all over the place this is gonna be the actual floor height right here Except there's, it's not going to be one solid color, obviously. These floors are really busy. I like them. Because for... Because when you do a build, you want, like... If you're going for, like, a uh, more... Uh, what's it called? Magical, I guess. I don't know if that's the right word or not. If you're going for more of that style of a build, you want to make it more busy, more interesting to look at. But if you're going for more of a modern feel, modern is more like simplicity, you know? Just trap you in there until you despawn forever. And torch. Put a torch on it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I mentioned this on camera yet, but I also have a Twitter now. So you guys should definitely go and check that out. Be tweeting out when I post episodes. And, you know, you guys can give me advice on stuff that I post on there. And, you know, just keep in touch with you know what videos I like and I'll I post other stuff than just video related stuff on there and it's just gonna be an outline so you guys can see sorta of what I'm going for so it doesn't look less as awkward with these spaces in between I'm also gonna in that building series I was talking to you about I was also gonna talk about how to build efficiently in survival mode because I know it's actually quite a lot harder jeez if I could get the right amount of freaking stairs like this is what I'm talking about guys I wasn't planning I was just doing this on the fly uh, but how to plan out your build like you don't want to start doing something where you're working up high over like like I didn't want to start building this before I cover like before I put the walls around it you know and you you gotta place your priorities on your build you know that sort of a thing it's actually quite a, a uh, thought out process more than you guys would think so yeah that's sort of the feel I'm going for I don't know if you guys can envision it quite yet but I can for sure but yeah this this will mark the grand opening of the nether hub of this episode so you should also see some people putting up uh, videos of them starting their own little spot in the nether hub hopefully depending on if they figure it out soon enough but we'll definitely be putting one in soon I've got an idea for a project we're gonna do actually I don't know where to put it yet though is the problem and I think maybe next episode we'll do a little bit of exploring on our trusty steed mm -hmm. just like that that's how that was oh no oh whoops 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 very professional when I build you guys know that uh, and right there beautiful okay so yeah, that's basically, I think this is going to wrap it up for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, so, you know, if you did enjoy, please leave any thoughts you might have on this nether hub in the comments, you know, like, I mean, I obviously accept, com like, good comments, but I also accept, you know, cr constructive criticism if you think I'm not doing something right, if you think something looks a little too boring, then obviously say so, because I need to know that sort of thing so I can build things better for people because it's more of a community build so yeah just leave that in the comments and 
you know, leave what you think about my channel in the comments. You know, I like to hear feedback from you guys. Anything helps, you know? Just, even if you think it isn't insignic insignificant, you know, that'll help. And give me a little like button so other people see this video as well. And I guess I will see you guys and next time. See you later.